What is good, people? It's your boy, Lord, coming back to you with another one, man. Second episode of uh, Sao Paulo. Today, we are going to Liberdade. If you didn't know, Brazil has a huge Japanese population. It's like 1.9 million people here. Yes, I looked that up. It's the biggest Japanese population outside of Japan. And as soon as you get to Liberdade, you're going to know you're in Liberdade because it's just going to be a lot of Japanese culture. So I'm ready to see it, man. I've looked all over TikTok. That's where I get a lot of my stuff from when I'm traveling, just to see what other people are doing. One thing that they do say about Liberdade is because of the population for tourists, is a lot of pickpocketing. So make sure you have your stuff in your pouch. Make sure you don't have your stuff in your pockets. Somebody please get this man a gun. I'm super hungry. They say it's a perfect place to eat. I love Asian cuisine, so I'm ready to get it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Liberdade. This is definitely a place where you gotta watch your phone, watch your belongings. You know what I'm saying? People, people definitely pickpocketing out here. It's a perfect place. A lot of rubbing the shoulders. If I, if I was a thief, this is where I'd be. So all the places where you order actual Japanese food was packed. So I went to a Japanese buffet. And it looked decent. It looked decent. Not what I came here for, but it should look decent. So one thing I pride myself on when I do these reviews and make these videos about my experiences while traveling the world, I like to be 100% honest with people. I don't want to give saturated opinions about places that are supposed to be cool. If I like something, I'm going to really like it. And if I don't like something, I'm going to let you know that as well. That being said, I thought that Liberdade was kind of overrated. Before going there, I was watching TikTok videos and they made it look so cool. And maybe I came on the wrong day. But whenever I arrived at Liberdade, I wasn't impressed especially with the food. Now, I know what you're going to say before you go off on me in the comments. I know you can't judge one area off of a restaurant, let alone a buffet. But to be honest, I was just very underwhelmed with the whole Liberdade experience. People always ask me, what are some of the downfalls of being a solo traveler? And to be honest, it's times like these where you have to go to new areas, find new restaurants, try new foods. When I guarantee if I had two or three more friends to come with me, Liberdade would have been 10 times better. But I guess that's just the price I got to pay for being a lone wolf. I, to go to, I tried to go to Liberdaji, uh, but it started raining. So I went home and took my ass to sleep because I had no sleep all night. But now my friends told me to pop out. So we're going to see what's up, man. Right now we are at the metro station. Right now we're at the metro station. And I have no clue where I'm going or what I'm about to get into. But let's see what goes on, man. Waiting on my homegirls now. She's helping me out, y'all. Diga hola. Hola. <laughs> I have to pull a cow cord. Listo. So we just got off the subway. <laughs> she is crazy everybody she's the crazy one she's crazy she's the crazy one she's crazy <laughs> Where is this place? Ayangabaú, indo para o show da aniversário de 94 anos da Vai Vai. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's peligroso, circa. In total part, there's a key. See, see, see. So the reason I asked her that is because once we got off the subway, I could kind of recognize that we weren't in the safest area. They say downtown Sao Paulo is one of the most dangerous areas, and you shouldn't go there alone, especially at night. Whenever you start traveling often, you're going to be able to pick up on certain energies whenever you go to certain places. <laughs> I'm not 
Man, so the last couple of days have been crazy, man. I've had so much fun. Last night was a chill night, nothing crazy. Today is Sunday. It's a chill day, man. We're gonna go listen to some Pergoji, uh, which is kind of like the Brazilian music out here. A lot of drums, good vibes, good beats, man. If you didn't know, Sao Paulo is lit between really like Wednesday to Sunday. Right now, I just got some food. I'm gonna show you how much food I got for like $7. Other than that, man, I'm gonna go chill at the crib, organize my house a little bit, man. I don't like living out of a suitcase. And then we're gonna step out for a little bit of Sunday fun day action, man. So just a chill vibe. I'm not always gonna have like huge vlogs like I did in my first episode of Sao Paulo, cause that takes time, man. But I travel so much, I'm always gonna have something going on, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, but let's go to the crib, clean up a little bit, then we gonna head out, man, let's go. Sao Paulo is lit, it's huge. Pause, pause, pause. By the way, this episode is not sponsored by Rain. Holler at your boy. I can't eat, I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. I had a great time last night, man. Shout out to my two homegirls, they took me under their wing. We went to some crazy concert. Apparently, the people that was out there, I looked on their Instagram and stuff, they're like the gunner and little babies of Sao Paulo. People think that vlogging is easy, bro. You mix vlogging with trying to have a good time, trying to be safe with your camera equipment and stuff, and then you mix drinking on top of that? Oh, man. Like, that's a bad combination, but hey, I do this for y'all. But yeah, man, I feel good. I got to clean up, clean up this mess, man, um, that was here. Uh, it was terrible. I can't be operating in a messy situation like that. It, it, it messes up my flow, you know? I gotta have juices pumping, bro. Inks, 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 inks. Inks. I have to have juices pumping, and I need my flow to be flowing. If my flow's not flowing, bitch, I ain't going. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go watch the game in Via Magdalena and link up with my homie. Uh, see what's, what's popping, man. Uh, just gotta get out in the streets, man. Let's go. All right, so right now we are in. Right now we are in Via Magdalena. It's crazy. <laughs> I 
and this place is definitely a place for all bars. You can get food, drinks, and it's good to party. Um, right now we're about to link up with my boy, Kima, and my other homeboy, Fernando, and we're just gonna vibe out, man. The reason I love Villa Magdalena is because you have so many options. There's literally a long strip of bars and clubs and restaurants that you can go to. And once you get tired of one place, you can go to the next one. Also, if you're a huge sports fan, Villa Magdalena is a perfect place for you. They always play NBA games. They always play NFL games. Now, granted, if there's an important soccer game, that trumps everything. But on this particular day, the Ravens and the Chiefs were playing. And not to mention, Lamar Jackson cost me two grand because I put a $40 parlay down and all he had to do was run two yards and score a touchdown. Thanks, Lamar. He's the man. He's the man right there. He's the man. Hey, you are the man, man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But you're the man too. Ah, do I leave I mean my session? What do you think about like America? What do you think about America? It's cool. Or what? She's been to America, guys. So Yeah, but but I'm very drunk now, so I can't say that. This is the tank. She's the tank, bro. She doesn't get drunk. She doesn't get drunk at all. No, I'm very drunk. I'm drinking vodka with yeah, no, she had, guys, she had vodka up to here, and then she poured a little bit of a Red Bull, just a little bit. Sugar free. You gotta watch your figure. You gotta watch your body. Yeah. Fucking, fucking burn, burn on the tank. <laughs> You need a guy like this man right here. Man, I'm a fucking bald guy, man. Hey, hey, what's, I don't what I, what's, care. what's the nickname I gave you? Godfather. The fucking the Godfather. Godfather, man. <laughs> He's a Godfather. Man. Everybody knows you need, him. You need a host. You need a host. <laughs> He's a Godfather. As me. You need a host as me. Everybody I'm the knows. good host, man. Everybody knows him. He knows everybody. You I don't gotta have care. guys like the Godfather. I don't fucking care. You gotta have guys like the Godfather. I don't fucking care, man. Teach, teach her. It's right there. Perfect. So the man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.